How to clear the cache files from a browser. Hi there, this is Deborah Sable and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to delete your cache files from two different browsers, from Google Chrome and also from Firefox. On my screen I have Google Chrome and I use it quite a lot. It's my uh, go-to browser that I use more than any other one. You should really delete your cache files, um, I would say at least once a week, if you use it, the internet every day, which most of us do, then you should do this at least once a week. Um, uh, more often if you are a heavy internet user, but once a week should do it for most people. So from the Google homepage here, what you want to do is go up to the upper right hand corner of the screen and right here you have these three vertical dots which typically mean when you click on it more things come up for you. So in this case um, the screen tip says customize and control Google Chrome. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and you get a, a menu of different choices of things to do. What you want to do to get to where we want to go is more tools right here. So you hover over more tools and then you want to choose clear browsing data. So when you click on that, it moves to this page. Now you may or may not see this dialog box uh, come up open on your screen. I'm going to assume that you don't, okay? So uh, just in case that happens. So if you don't see it, then what you would do is go here where it says privacy and security and where it says clear browsing data right here it tells you what that does clear it clears out your history your cookies your cache files and more but don't worry when you click this it doesn't automatically start doing that it just it gives you choices so go ahead and click here and it will open up this um, dialog box and you have two different choices. You have the basic, okay, which is something you can do, absolutely, um, and you can choose the time range. You can clear out all of these things from your browser uh, for the last seven days or try the last 24 hours, the last four weeks, or for all time. In other words, it goes back to uh, pretty much the first days that you started using this computer. So right now I'm just going to leave it on the last seven days. And uh, the basic just clears your browsing history. It uh, will delete your cookies and other site data. Cookies are notorious. They, they can, if you ignore this and you don't ever do it, the cookies, the cookies will pile up and it can really slow down your computer and, cause pro and actually cause problems and errors. So you definitely want to do this cached images and files, absolutely. You don't want to hang on to any of that. Um, you know, if you found something on the internet that you liked, you either downloaded it or bookmarked it or something, So, and you're not going to find it here. Now you can click to remove any of these check marks, but the default setting typically will have the checks in here, the check marks in here, and you want to leave them in there. So you can click here for clear data, but instead I'm going to click advanced because it offers more choices. And again, the default is to have a check mark in each of these, which means when you click clear data, then all of those will be cleared out. So let's go ahead and do that. Click clear data. Now, depending on how long it's been since you last did this, it could take anywhere from a few seconds to several minutes to an hour or more if you've never done it. Um, I haven't done it in a while, so uh, which is shame on me. But um, so as you can see, it took a while. Uh, it took maybe 30 seconds or so to clear out all of mine, and it's done. When you're finished, you can go back to your browser. My browser is, uh, or, or rather, um, back to the home page for your browser. So I'm going to click the home page for Google Chrome and there it is and so I have cleared out the cache files 
cookies and all of that. And now my computer should run a little bit better. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to do the same thing in Firefox, which is another popular browser. So I'm going to go uh, down on my taskbar, which you cannot see, and I'm going to click my Firefox link. And I also have Google as my uh, search engine as my home page for Firefox, just same as I do for Google Chrome. Again, you're going to go up to the upper right hand corner and find the menu typically in the very far upper right hand corner is where you'll find it in most browsers. I'm going to click that and in Firefox they offer you all of these different choices. What you want to do for Firefox to clear the cache files and all that is to uh, click options and then from the options page you want to go over here and click privacy and security. Then you want to scroll the page up and if you're just interested in clearing out your data, your, your uh, cookies and site data, you need to do this. You need to click clear data. Now one of the choices, before I do that, one of the choices I made was I put a check mark right here where it says to delete cookies and site data when Firefox is closed. So every time I close Firefox, the browser, this will automatically run and take care of it for me so it doesn't pile up. But there are other ways of um, things that can pile up. So if you click clear data, here it is. So cookies and site data, it says zero bytes and that's because uh, it's I've set it up to be cleared out every time I close the browser and that's a good thing. But here it also says cached web content. It will require websites to reload images and data. Just a warning to let you know that's what's going to happen. But my cached files here in Firefox have reached one gigabyte which is really quite a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and click clear. It says selecting clear now will clear all cookies and site data stored by Firefox. This may sign you out of websites and remove offline web content. So if you're okay with that, uh, you, you know if you're not sure then cancel it and you know try to find out if if this would be okay with you, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and just click clear now because I do want to get rid of those things and it looks like it did it pretty quickly. So I'm going to click clear data again and see where it is and there it says right there cached web content. It went from one gig down to zero in just a second so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to click cancel uh, and again, that's all you need to do if you want to clear out your um, cache files, your cookies and site data uh, for Firefox. Okay. If you have any questions about how to do this, please contact Online Learning.